do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos in this video we are going to see how to solve a problem using a mesh analysis technique if a current source is present between two meshes with independent sources so here is the problem of a super mesh analysis but how to identify it's a super mesh let us see how so in this problem we have to get a current flowing through 10 ohm resistor using a mesh analysis technique so first of all let's apply the basic techniques that means three meshes are there so we'll have three mesh currents i1 i2 and i3 based on the current flowing through the resistor we will have the voltage drops in this manner now let's apply cable to mesh 1 Let's start from the voltage source minus plus so it's a plus 2 plus minus minus 1 into i1 so it's a minus i1 plus minus minus 10 i1 minus plus plus 10 i2 equal to 0 so after simplifying we'll get minus 11 i1 plus 10 i2 equal to minus 2 as equation number 1 straightforward let's apply k will to mesh 2 if you see carefully in the mesh 2 this is the element where voltage is not marked that does not mean there is no voltage but thing is that what we will write for this because register is not known and it is just a current source so the problem is that whenever we will have a current source part of a circuit which is nothing but a common part between two meshes at that time we stuck as far as the traditional mesh analysis is concerned so here we need to apply a technique called as super mesh so let's see how we are going to apply super mesh technique to this problem so the problematic structure in this circuit is this current source so what we'll do we'll take this current source outside the circuit so i will take this current source basically this current source is nothing but this branch current and for this branch current we'll have two currents as far as mesh currents are concerned one is i3 in this direction And second is I2 in this direction. So if you see carefully, given current direction is upward, which is matching with the I3, and I2 is just opposite to that of 4 ampere current source. So I can say equation of current source is. I3 minus I2 equal to 4. Just rearrange as per the sequence that means I1 comes first, then I2, and then I3. So it will be minus I2 plus I3 equal to 4. This becomes equation number 2 for our mesh analysis. So we got one equation without applying a KVL to any of the loop. We'll get a second equation, just the equation of a current source. Next part is very important. We have to apply KVL to super mesh, which is nothing but a combination of two mesh. So I will write it properly. Super mesh is nothing but 
a combination of mesh number two and mesh number three how to identify which two meshes will take part in the super mesh it is quite simple current source is sharing between these two meshes hence super mesh is also formed by taking a combination of those two meshes so over here super mesh is nothing but a combination of mesh 2 and mesh 3 so how to apply we have to start just like a kvl to mesh 2 and wherever there's a current source we need to bypass that part and go ahead to the next mesh so plus minus minus phi i2 over here i have to bypass this part and go ahead so if i go ahead it will be plus minus minus 15 and this is because of i3 then we have to bypass this go ahead plus minus minus 10 i2 minus plus plus 10 i1 equal to 0 so what we have done simply we have bypassed that part of a circuit where current source is present so after simplifying we'll get 10 i1 minus 15 i2 minus 15 i3 equal to 0 as equation number 3 our requirement was having a three equations because we are having a three currents so after solving equation 1 2 and 3 you will get a current i1 as minus 2.3478 ampere then i2 as minus 2.7826 ampere and i3 as 1.2174 ampere what we want we want a current flowing through 10 ohm so current flowing through 10 ohm is nothing but over here there are two currents as far as mesh currents are concerned i1 and i2 and both are flowing in opposite direction so there has to be subtraction but by checking which one is more we will take that current as a first and minus another current so i1 and i2 we have to consider out of these two we can say i1 is more than i2 hence i10 ohm is i1 minus i2 so if i substitute the value of i1 and i2 i will get a final answer as 0 0.43 4 8 ampere let's mark the direction also since i1 is more hence the direction of i1 for this 10 ohm is a downward that will be the direction of resultant current so we'll have the complete answer as 0 0.4348 downward as the final current flowing through 10 ohm so here we have taken a simple problem of a super mesh analysis to justify how to solve a problem whenever there is a current source between two meshes. Thank you.